All right, so it looks like we just had an epic teaser dropped by Canada's Wonderland, and it is full of information. So let's dive in a little deeper and uh, analyze this teaser. So the most important one is um, the 815 What Could Canada's Wonderland Be? Announcing question mark. On Saturday, July 21st, Canada's Wonderland began what seems to be secretive marketing campaign around the construction near Splashworks. Speculation is that it might be a roller coaster or a mountainous 213 foot water slide with a coaster lift hill. Another rumor is saying that season pass holders will be getting a golden opportunity to have early access to the park on August 15th to peek inside the construction fence and see what this new project is all about. Hashtag CW2019. Now, a couple things is um, the mountainous um, mention, and we already know that there were some teasers for a mountain um, in previous teasers, and the biggest one is 213 feet. Um, so uh, the other day, if you notice, we started like really pulling back on our height in our like last couple videos, and we were talking about it's probably going to be around the same height as Val Raven. Well, it looks so, like they wanted to keep Val Raven's height record and keep Val Raven as the king of dive coasters in terms of height. Um, and this matches up. So I think 213 feet is definitely going to be the height of our coaster. Um, but don't um, be too upset because 213 feet tall definitely um, makes our coaster the largest drop on a dive coaster in the world. Um, so that's a really exciting title to hold on its own. Um, so don't don't be too upset. And we know that this has a very unique layout. So it's not going to be your Val Raven clone. It's not going to be a dive coaster clone. It's going to be a unique layout on a dive coaster. Um, so don't don't panic. Um, this is good news. But I'm definitely going to say that 213 feet is the height of the lift hill. Um, and that it'll probably have about 230 to 250 foot drop, depending how deep that valley actually is and how deep that tunnel is. Um, it all depends on that. Um, but what's also interesting in this teaser is under tickets, you can see find the best deals on amusement park tickets and access to more than 16 roller coasters and so much more. So we know that there's going to be more coming with this announcement. We've been predicting that for a while. Um, Gold Passes is one of them. Winterfest is the other. And um, there's rumors about restaurants and maybe a kid's thing um, along with it. Who knows? This is probably an expansion more so than just a roller coaster. Um, you can also see that they edited under season passes. Earl enjoy early ride times, unlimited visits, but when it turns to gold, you receive more than the regular season. So we know that Canada's Wonderland is probably launching the gold season pass. Um, we've been talking about that quite a bit. Um, and what the perfect year to launch it. So you're launching your whole, um, what looks like a Golden Eagle type attraction. So the Golden Eagle roller coaster, whatever the name ends up being, it definitely looks like our bird theme is going to be an eagle. Um, it, I, as we called, it's not a mistake that they put a Golden Eagle on their advert. They wouldn't do that for Ziz. Um, as you saw with the teaser poster for Wonder Mountain Guardian, they're able to make a monster for the teaser poster if they really want to. They're not going to go randomly get a golden eagle for the teaser poster if it's not going to have something to do with that. So as we called, we don't think this ride's going to be themed to Ziz in the end. Um, Ziz is the king of birds, and this isn't the king of birds in terms of height. Um, and Ziz, as a description, is the height of Levi well, the same size as Leviathan. And this isn't going to be the same size as Leviathan, which is totally fine. It's a totally different style roller coaster, and it doesn't need to do the same thing Leviathan did. Um, so this is all really exciting. Um, and I have a feeling we're, we're missing a few things here, too. So we looked over everything that they edited. So for some reason, they edited this description, and it we didn't really get much out of it. Um, so feel free to comment um, if we missed anything. But for fans of Skyrider, 23 million of whom rode the coaster since it opened for business in May 1985 for decision... The decision to close the ride on Labor Day was not an easy one, said Phillips. So that's Dave Phillips, the head of marketing, VP. Um, so we, I don't really see much that we maybe missed there, except for maybe the ride cost $23 million. Um, that's the only thing I could possibly pull out of that sentence. We know the announcement's on August 15th. Um, Amusement Insiders has a really cool surprise for you on August 15th. So stay tuned. Um, you are not going to miss what we have to announce on that. 
Um, we will be announcing in the coming days what we have planned um, for this. Um, but yeah, it's really exciting. Um, and it's an exclusive. So uh, this is where, you know, the glass shatters. And I wanted to discuss this a little. It could be nothing. But usually when, um, you know, the glass ceiling is broken or the glass shattered, um, especially with announcements, it usually means there's going to be some records broken. And this is an interesting topic of discussion because we know that based off of a tweet that, you know, Wonderland, well, Dave Phillips from Wonderland posted in response to one of mine about which record, if there was a record it could break, which would you like it to be? Which is a great question. And you guys should ask yourself that as well. Um, but I definitely think there's going to be one, two or three records broken. I mean, it's obvious that um, we're going to see uh, Canadian records broken. I mean, this ride's going to break every Canadian record <laughs> in terms of a dive coaster because it's the only one. But I have a feeling there's going to be a, like one, two or three world records broken with this coaster. I don't think it's going to beat the inversion records, but I am hoping for a fourth inversion. Um, I'm really hoping for that. Um, and I definitely think it's going to beat the drop record at this point with a 213 foot tall lift hill. It definitely breaks the drop record. So thank you to Cedar Fair for at least giving Wonderland that. Um, I am a little like, I'm like, oh, really? Like they couldn't just go beat it. Like another theme park is going to come along now in the future and take that record away eventually. And it just would have been smarter to break their own record at this point since, um, you know, dive coasters are becoming extremely popular models in the theme park industry. So eventually someone's going to break it. Anyways, what do you guys think? Do you think it's going to be Golden Eagle? Do you think it's going to be Klondike Gold Rush? Or do you think it's going to be Ziz? And what do you think about the information in this teaser? Comment down below what you guys think. I want to hear from you. Um, this is also exciting. And stay tuned for our stream tonight at 8.30 p.m. And then stay tuned any day now for an exciting announcement from Amusement Insiders. Have a good one. Bye.